Hello! I thought I would uh, just go through a, a re recent purchase and I purchased this, it was a few weeks back actually, it's not that recent but uh, I've not actually run it or looked at it and it's Backman Class 20, it is in the wrong box and this is a DCC sound fitted one um, I did know it was in the wrong box when I purchased it off the seller, they told me that um, <clears throat> So I don't really know what I'm going to get. Um, I sort of purchased it fairly cheaply actually. You know, it was less than £100. So for a, a DCC self-fitted loco for less than £100 is a really good bargain. So let's actually, well it sounds a good bargain, but let's actually see. Is it a good bargain? Did I get a good deal? And there's no point in showing you the end of the box uh, because uh, that's not actually the product code on there so let me just find you the product code off you know online um, so this one is um, it's the Backman branch line 32030DS and this is the class 20 um, 20156 in rail freight red stripe grey with DCC sound fitted and this is a 2008 tooling so anyway there's not a lot we can see off the uh, side of the box but um, this is just a, a trick that I learned from a, another YouTuber the other side of the globe um, and it just saves complete wear on the, the flap of the box just using a metal ruler to open it so it's a good tip that and we've got a bit of paperwork, not really anything, it's just a collector's club. You've got the, uh, the old um, cover with the history on there, nothing really to uh, have a look at. And um, you can see there, there is no detail impact. And nothing really to protect the loco apart from the polystyrene. So, and there we have locomotive. Now, it does actually say that there's quite a good detailing part to this. So, let's just have a quick look. So, it says that we've got fan which is etched, um, you've got fans, um, handrails. High intensity headlights, jumper cables, lamp irons, nameplates. Um, obviously, I've got no nameplates with this, and this didn't have any names, you know, so it's not a um, tablet catcher. This is a domino head code, so no. Um, so you don't get any head code discs. So it is actually quite a basic product, and we've got no detailing parts in the box to fit either so I think when we come to have a look at this up close we'll just see what we do get for the money for an older model and should you really buy an older model rather than the newer one should you just sort of save your money and get the latest one although if you want the latest one with sound it will cost quite a lot anyway let's go and have a look at this on my white background So let's have a look up close. All looks in good condition. Despite not having the uh, correct box. Don't seem to be any major blemishes or anything. All the buffers working. Yes.
It seems to look fine on both ends. Both is working in this one. Yes. So let's just take a look at the uh, side of this. Let's get in a bit closer. Detail looks good. Especially for a, an older model. There's the uh, any detail in the cab. I can't really see anything in there. But uh, I wouldn't really expect a lot of interior detail at this age. So, yeah. So let's go and see how well this runs. Right, let's see how well this actually runs. I've just got it on the uh, Batman Dynamics controller. Speed step 128. And do we have any movement? Yes. Speed it up a little. Oh. That seems to run okay. Can it navigate the points? Let's bring it back into the centre and let's test the sound. And I've got no paperwork for the sound, so I'm not sure what all the functions do. So let's just go through. F2. Let's 
There's any more on the uh, upper and the guards were some tools. I don't know what that was, he started moving very slowly. Is that a shunting mode or something? Okay, let's uh, see what it sounds like on the move. So the sounds all work, it all seems to sound quite good. Um, not a bad loco. So let's just see how well this will crawl. Let's look at speed step one. Reasonably slow. Maybe uh, changing some of the CV settings might actually improve that. And we're not cutting out or anything. Just try it in the opposite direction. Same again, speed set one. That seems to work okay. I'm going to actually just test it crawling over the points. Okay, let's see how it gets on with the points. I'll just put it on speed set one.
Obviously you shouldn't really have any trouble at all because it's uh, got pickups on all wheels so even on the dead spot on the points That seems all right. Let's just see how much we weigh. Ah, quite heavy loco, 405.8. How easy is it to get apart if you wanted to uh, chip these? I know this one is already DCC fitted and sound ready, so but obviously other models of this era. So there is just two screws on here from what I can see. I'm also interested in just to see if it's a fee. 3.5 or a V4 um, sound module because I'd like to fit a stay life capacitor to this because I think uh, sound locos really could do with always a stay life. So if it's a 3.5, I don't think you can actually fit. So let's just uh, seem to have a bit of resistance there at uh, non cab end. Why is that? Screw is out, there's nothing stopping it. You always have to be very, very careful. Oh, there we go. And do we? There is no um, lights in this model. And as you can see, we've got a uh, good size five pole motor there with the uh, twin flywheels. Driving each bogey, 21 pin DCC socket, and speaker is screwed in. Although there is only two screws holding this speaker in. So, one of the telltale signs of if it's 3.5, it to the speaker should say 100 ohm. If it says 8 ohm, it will be version 4. So this actually says 8 ohm. I'm not sure if uh, that's coming out. So this is a version 4 sound chip. So which is much better. So you can have these reblown a lot easier. There's a lot more sound files for them. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that then. So if you're just buying the sound chip and the speaker, you know, even second hand, um, you're paying about 80, 90 for that. So getting the whole loco for just under 100 was a really good bargain, but you do take a risk. So let me put this back on. I think it, uh, yeah, the speaker was where well, there is no fan fitted because the speaker is actually where the fan is and the sound's coming out of the grill there. So you don't get the uh, the realistic looking grill. That's it. And it's actually very easy to take apart loco.
So if you've got any of this locos at this age and you do want to chip them, then very easy and very quickly. Okay, so there we go. Would I recommend this? Um, yes, um, would I recommend you buy one so cheap? It's a gamble. Um, I took the gamble and it worked, paid off well. It's a lovely loco, lovely loco. Uh, with nice details, runs well, sounds well. And uh, yes, I think I got a good bargain. I wouldn't mind finding the newer style box or the correct box to it because I prefer that and uh, I wouldn't mind finding the detailing parts. Um, but apart from those, you know, you, you, you really get what you pay for. Um, so, but just be really careful if you are going to buy second hand and cheap because cheap doesn't always mean a bargain. So. Alright, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.